Hello YouTube, that Lego builder here with another uh, review of the ALT pod. This is my futuristic tank pod and this is the 2.0 version of this tank and it's a futuristic military theme. So um, let's get started. So in the 1.0 version this was supposed to be more of an apocalypse theme, apocalypse style, where it was thrown together by the survivors, but this is uh, meant to be more of a real military vehicle that was made by the government for the purpose of defending whichever country it belongs to. So, um, I guess we'll start at the front. Um, I guess we can start with these track covers. These are actually attached back here, and they were some of the first things to go on the tank. This whole bottom frame is the first thing made, and this part here is actually offset by half a stud. You can see right through there for a small sections. But for the cockpit, it comes off, the roof of the cockpit comes off, just like that. You can see it's fairly thick. So it's lots of armor plating. In here, unlike the first version, it has one one seat for a pilot with lots of advanced controls. There's three speed dials, a steering wheel, two levers, and some lights there. These parts also open up to get a better view, and it does fit a figure. So I'll just get this guy. Go in there. And uh, looks pretty nice. So, and then the roof goes on, and there's a little thing in there, a little wedge cut out for figure's head. So that easily goes on like that. And again, that's offset by half a stud on either side. And in the front here, it's actually um, jumper plates in there. So now into the back, uh, we'll start with the interior of the back. So this top part comes right off, it's held on by four studs and jumper plates. And this wheel back here, it's the same style wheel I had before. And the trouble, I had to get it even this time, because it would roll better. It rolls better when it's all even. So as you can see, I had to put a little peg in there to hold it in place, because it's actually a double wide hole. So that was a bit of a challenge. In here we have a little engineering station, or a scout monitoring station, and again it fits one figure. So we'll put another figure in there. And his head sticks up a little bit, but there's another groove in there for the minifigure side to stick up. So um, now onto this, the other side. So you can see this thing here, and that is the light brick again. And it slides out on a piston, and when the top part is off, it slides over like that. And it flips both ways, so it can go to the back. And at the side, even inside, but I don't know why you would want to do that. But normally it just sits right there. It's held in place by just the one piston. This angled side, it's got uh, two by two slopes up here and three by four slopes under there. And this is all snotted, stunt technique. And a little gas thing, gas injection. So, We'll get to the top part, and um, let's move the main tank off to the side. So this top part is meant for one figure, but it can hold two. And it's got this little equipment box here. It's got a backpack, a brick arms minigun, and this canister thing here. I don't know what it would be used for. Maybe extra fuel, possibly. I don't know. There's this back part here with the big light again from the carried over from the 1.0 version, only this time it's orange on this uh, smooth 
thing. So, um, yeah. Um, I have a lot of fun designing these things and seeing what I can do and what I want to do and trying to put that into this tangible object. This one is actually more solid than the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it is more solid. Uh, it doesn't. It rolls a bit better. But um, this little part here is restricting the front treads a bit. Um, but yeah, this is. I actually got a little background for this, so uh, I guess we'll take a final look at it in the background and uh, we'll end it. So, you can see it's got the nice lines here, the road lines, and in front of a small building I just built yesterday. So, um, yeah, that's it for the ALT Pod uh, Review 2.0. Um, thank you for watching, happy building.